we're safe. Hey everyone, I'm Channing McCorston, the container guy. If you're a prepper looking for a shipping container as a part of your arsenal, you'll want to watch this video. Stay tuned. So if you're looking to hide out in a shipping container, one thing to note is if you only have the shipping container doors, they actually cannot be opened from the inside. So if someone locks you in a container, you are locked in a container, you better have your cell phone. So one way to uh, take care of that is to install a man door. And so we install these container modification world man door kits. They're amazing. They're built specifically for shipping containers. Uh, they're extremely durable. And uh, yeah, they, they allow you access to get in and out of your container. And so these door kits, they come with a high security lock box on, that can be installed on them that matches the high security lock box on the shipping container doors. And then you can get the very strong um, pick resistant uh, 80 millimeter shackle lock to, to lock this thing up when it's not in use. But you don't want that locked up either once you're inside this thing. So as we move on, this container here is insulated. And so we can control the climate in here with the heater, it is not air conditioned, but uh, it's very easy to air condition these things with uh, heat pumps. All you have to really do is just mount the interior head unit up here and drill a, a three inch hole so it can be either heated or in you know lower United States cooled, which is more of the problem there. And this thing is fully electrified. And how we did that and how we were able to do that is by framing this with our modular interior systems, what we call it. We have our CSM brackets that allow us to strut line the entire interior. So this is a lot different than steel studding or wood studding the interior of a container. It gives us this fully modular interior. Now we can mount our switches, our plugs, our heaters, everything. Our electricians right at home inside this envelope and able to uh, pipe in and run the EMT anywhere to anything. But the added bonus to this is now there's all different types of shelving brackets, racking, whatever, you name it, that allows you to store all your consumables and it's completely modular up and down. So if you don't know exactly how you're going to use this space, you buy the envelope, it's framed, it's modular, and then as you use it, as you move things around, if you get different equipment, gear, food, whatever, you can adjust it and this thing just, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a, a living document, so to speak. It, it really uh, um, is the best way, in our opinion, especially for industrial and commercial modifications, which we specialize in, to provide a, a customer, say someone in the office orders a unit, they don't know how the people in the field want to use it. They're able to play around with it in the field. And so this also, you want to uh, get some ventilation or be able to see out. We have uh, our 60 inch end wall window here. We will be moving towards a 48 inch end wall window so it'll be a bit smaller and then we can get rid of this flashing here to be really nice. But with these window kits you might not like the fact that a zombie or someone could climb through there and so we do have these steel mesh screens that actually fold down so it's an egress style screen where you can open this thing up, drop the screen and still get out of here or have it completely uh, locked up and just that added security. So a lot of times they do that for even you know, rocks on the highways are hauling this to protect the glass or yeah, I guess uh, kids throwing rocks or baseball bats through the windows. So that's a nice option on these container modification world window kits. And then, yeah, I guess just to give you a bit of a tour here, we do have our, our garage heater. It's, it's really cold out right now. This, this thing's got snow all over it, as you can see. So this keeps them nice and warm. We love the ones that actually have the, uh, the thermostat where we can uh, tie into there and run a thermostat somewhere else inside the container just to maybe help better even out the air especially when you're putting these in 40 foot containers because they get long and there's quite a temperature difference potentially from one end of the can to the other uh, and then the lighting here we really like these rab fixtures they're a long uh, uh, four foot led fixture and those are able to be bolted with spring nuts right into the strut channel and they're a special one where they still have the half inch knockout on the back end so we can just pipe right from one fixture to the next. Uh, so that's, that's a great way for the industrial style of electrical in here. Now we'll jump to the other side of this can, show you the breaker panel and the container door flashing kit and how we've kept these container doors operational. The CSM brackets and strut channel allow us to uh, put the strut channel every 11 inches. And so where this breaker panel is, we've actually 
uh, put the strut channel ev uh, 11 inches apart and then we're able to surface mount the panel and that allows us to pipe right out of here. And so we got an industrial square D breaker panel. And then with this thing here, we actually come straight out the panel into a junction box on the outside. So it's really simple to trench power to this thing come up and right into that junction box. When our customers or you, I guess, get this container, all you have to do is just hook up the wires to the lugs outside and the lights are on. And so that's great there. Uh, it really tidies up the electrical and makes it very modular, modular. So you can add breakers and add circuits uh, afterwards. And then here, this is how our container door flashing kit looks when it's all buttoned up. And so this allows us to uh, get a very good insulation on the shipping container doors and then uh, line it with the same interior lining that's inside the container and it keeps the doors extremely operational. If you guys have ever seen shipping container doors spray foamed without this, a lot of people, they'll spray foam right across the doors and then take a uh, knife and just cut it out after. And as soon as you go to uh, close your doors, it just eech, it's really annoying and they don't work properly. So this kit makes the doors work great and still provides uh, you know, the best insulation possible on these doors. So it's not quite as insulated as the rest of, of the container because it's not a perfect envelope, but I always say it's, it's about as insulated as your garage at home compared to this is just as insulated as your home. And so, uh, but uh, I think a, a great trade off in order to have the container doors operational. Now you can get, you know, seven foot wide things right into this container, beds, whatever you name it. So that there is a tour of this is for, uh, I just tried to keep it specific to you preppers out there that uh, are looking to come up with, you know, a way to either store your goods or who knows, you can bolt bunk beds, whatever, you name it to this interior structure. So this is the ultimate way, the most durable, the most industrial way to finish the interior of a shipping container. So if you found uh, value from this, please help us out. Give the video a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, check us out at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something.